Uh. Okay, looks like we started again. It seems that XSplit doesn't take kindly to constantly restarting this, but uh, hopefully everything is fine. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Um, okay, so uh, we are going to go into the winner's match now of Group 12 between KR and Various. So here we are. Let me switch the overlay. Hey, perfect. So, here we go. The map is Hitchhiker. The matchup is Protoss versus Protoss. The winner of this game will advance into the ISL round of 32. And in the top left, once again, is yellow. Apparently, being yellow Protoss uh, is pretty good. It's pretty good in ISL. Uh, we do have Various. Uh, maybe I should caps his name like he does. Hold on, let me let me let me do a proper capsing of the name. I think he even uses an O instead of a capital. Actually, I can't tell if that's a zero or a capital O. I'll just use a zero because that's super elite and all. Uh, yeah, so there we go. And in the bottom right, of course, as the green Protoss, will be KR. Now, uh, we have seen some very epic PvPs on this map already. Um, the, the Shawnee game, of course, comes to mind. Well, I guess that was a spoiler. Whoopsie daisies! If you haven't watched Shawnee against FAC app, go watch it. Uh, I don't remember what group that was. But it was before this one, so it's okay to spoil. Anyway, it looks like both players not going to do any kind of crazy proxy or anything. Uh, KR actually scouting the top of his base um, just to check for a proxy. But of course, there are plenty of proxy locations. There's more down here. Uh, we actually saw a very funny game on this map. I can't remember who the players were, but it was a PVT. And the Protoss like, proxied a million buildings in the Terran's base. So that was quite funny. Um... Oh man, I was going to say something. Oh yeah, um, I, I do believe KR actually scouted that because Various uh, is kind of the underdog here. I do believe Various is the underdog of this group. Um, along with along with Time, of course. Um, but when Octzerg was still in play, Various was certainly the underdog. Uh, so KR does not want to get cheesed out by him. It looks like standard play from both players. Both getting their gases. Um, and Probe Scout's gonna get in here, check everything out, and looks like it's just gonna attack the pylon. Is various. Uh, there's a nice mana pylon. I was just going to say neither player putting down the anti mana pylons, but it looks like it's gonna hurt Kr quite a bit. Getting three probes trapped, he's gonna be able to squeeze two of them out. So that's quite nice. But these two patches will be blocked along with that probe. Um, now, if you look in the top left, there's, it's actually there's no nice manor pylon place like there is here with two patches. So I guess you could say it's a slight map imbalance, but um, uh, as we've seen previously, that's why Protosses do like to put the anti manor pylon here. But anyway, it looks like Azela's out, gonna wail away at that pylon. Is there a Zealot coming out for. Oh, it looks like that Zealot was misrallied or something, it just ran down here. <laughs> is it. Okay, it should certainly run over here, because one of the. Uh, the best ways to use mana pylons is, of course, to rally a zealot to your opponent's base and uh, have his zealot chase your one around so it can't even kill the pylon. Um, and, of course, if it does kill the pylon, you just kill some probes. Uh, whoopsie daisies, I lost my arrow keys. There we go. Uh, that probe taking two hits. Got one hit left. Got to run around. Don't want to be losing that early uh, scouting probe to a zealot. Now, where... I didn't see what happened to KR scouting probe. I assume it died. Yes, that zealot actually does have one kill. So the scouting probe from... Oh, another manor pylon going down, catching like another four probes. Or four probes, three of them still inside, going to try and squeeze their way out. Oh, wow, it's super effective. Three of them still stuck. Okay, looks like that one... Uh, is it going to get out? It's trying its hardest to pass through the minerals. <laughs> <coughs> Man, I had to let you guys hear that call because... I've been muting myself, but that's quite 
it's quite stressful to try and talk. Oh, can he get it? Oh my god, they were all stacked there. Whoa, that would have been crazy. But it looks like there's a big counterattack going by KR. There are two zealots blocking Various' ramp. Uh, but he's going to have to face off against three zealots. This zealot is being targeted. He should pull that back. All right, he does pull it back. He's got to be very careful. No, oh, no, that zealot is in the front. Ah, oh, it's running in circles. Oh, no, that one zealot goes down. Um, it looks like Varys is going to have to micro a little bit here. His probe is attacking this probe, though. Will it get a kill? I'm not sure. Uh, it looks like in the main, though, there are probes coming off the line to help defend this. I don't think that's 100% necessary. He could do a hold position micro with that Dragoon. And it looks like the probe getting one kill. The probe did kill one of KR's probes. KR focusing too much on the micro in the main. Will this guy even get a second kill? He does get a second kill! It's a two-kill probe! It's going to get away! There's a two-kill probe by Varys! KR not paying attention there, not with good enough multitasking. And meanwhile, the Dragoons are going to clean up the Zealots. One kill each. Now, there's another Zealot. If those Dragoons see that, they could kill it. But it looks like KR doing a good job hiding that guy. Um, the probe is back. It wants more blood. That probe. Oh, getting taken out. But that was a two-kill probe, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very nice. And here come the Dragoons. There's only one Dragoon out. The other Dragoon, uh, about halfway done. A Robo going down. One gate Robo for KR. What is uh, Varys doing? Oh, the Zealot does manage to sneak in. But there are a Zealot and a Dragoon for... Uh, for Various, but it looks like KR is going to scout the three gate. The three gate Dragoon rush here from Various will be scouted. So KR immediately throwing down a second gateway. He knows he has to be very careful here, having gone. Whoa! Wait, did he not build a robo? Did he cancel that robo? Am I crazy? Wait, he canceled the robo, right, guys? There was a robo. Oh my god, I'm I'm losing my mind here. There is now a citadel of a dune here. I don't know. <coughs> <coughs> This game! This game's gonna kill me! This game is gonna kill me! Dragoons are here, two probes are here to help defend. He knows if he can defend this three gate, when the DTs get out, there will be no detection for Various. But he is getting a robo though, he is getting a robo! There is a robotics going down for Various, his three gate was scouted so he's, ma he's switching into a normal robo play, which means uh, three, that the DTs from KR will not be effective. There is the Templar Archives, but here it comes. Here comes the Dragoons. There's four Dragoons against two. KR is in a lot of trouble. He's pulling his probes. He's pulling his probes. He has to be... Oh my god, the probes have to... If they don't get a good surround, um, Various, he's microing as best he can. The Dragoon goes down. The probes now surrounded that one Dragoon. Uh, no, it's unsurrounded. No, it is... It's dead. It's dead. It looks like Varys' Dragoon does have more health. These probes are not mining. Meanwhile, uh, it looks like Varys does win the duel, and he will be able to run away. And uh, is he going to get us around? No. He's going to scout the Templar Archives. It has been scouted. Another Dragoon. More Dragoons are being rallied into the base. What is going down in the base? It looks like an observatory has been thrown down, so the DTs will do nothing. A DT is being made. Another Dragoon being made. The probes getting a kill. Did one of those probes actually get the kill? I'm not really sure. Looks like that probe did get a kill. I believe that's a Dragoon kill. This is a hero probe, but looks like KR might just die to these Dragoons. I mean, the DTs will force him back temporarily, but he's losing so much mining time, only mining with two guys on gas. Actually, he does have quite a bit of gas. He has quite a bit of money. Um, uh, looks like... Okay, the DT is out. The DT is out. Looks like this will be over. Uh, I don't think Varius should continue this. He should just go home and wait for the Observer. Ah, Varius, just leave. Varius, just go, go home. Go home. Looks like he's just trying to kill as many probes as possible. I don't know why the observatory is already done. The observer's coming out. He should just save these dragoons. Yep. Looks like now he is going to back to save his dragoons. Um, going up to a fourth gateway, actually. Wow. Not going to expand or anything. Just going to... Uh, no, he is expanding. Okay, looks like he just had too much money. Um, so he's just going to build a nexus and another gateway. Uh, what is KR going to do? KR getting his own robotics. Um, that might... Uh, I'm not really sure what he's planning to do with that because this DT might go down. It's got the DT does go down. The second one does get away though. Uh, I'm not. I don't. I don't really understand what he's getting that robo for. Uh, it's, might be. I mean, what what he should be doing is expanding behind his DTs and then uh and then get Storm to defend against. And get cannons and storm to defend against the counterattack. Maybe actually, see that's that's the kind of the normal way like a one gate DT expand plays out. Um, in this situation, it's quite a bit different though, so I'm not really sure uh, how this works. Um, Keontae suggesting that it's a drop. I, I thought of that, but I mean he has observers, so it's not like he's relying on cannons to de to detect. I mean if your opponent has observers, I can't see why a DT drop would be more effective than normal DTs. 
Um, I mean, I guess you could get lucky. And if he's not paying attention, you could get a lot of probes because, of course, um, DTs do not reveal. Uh, they do not give a warning. He's going to focus down the DT. The DT does go down. It's now five Dragoons against four, but they uh, these four do have the, the ramp advantage, so they have, these Dragoons by various do have to run away. Uh, it looks like... Oh, but these Dragoons from Varius getting trapped here by KR's Dragoons. Gonna get all taken out. Wow, a bit of a blunder by, K uh, by Varius. But Varius pumping from four gateways, rallying more Dragoons to the front. Uh, I don't know if this is going to work. It is, in fact, a shuttle and a reaver. Okay, it looks like it is a reaver transition. It's not going to be a DT drop. It's going to be a reaver transition. Um, he's not, but that means he's, basically, his DT tech was completely useless. More Dragoons coming down. I don't agree with this by Varius. Varius getting too bold here. He does not want to throw away his advantage, but his expansion is up. He does not need to do this. I don't know why he's doing this. He's, he's in the lead. If he just defends, he's going to get way ahead with this expansion. Um, is he getting his own reaver tech, though? Oh man, he does have a nice spot spawning pylon here. I would like a spotting pylon behind his natural minerals in case a drop, a reaver drop comes from there. I don't know if he saw the robo with his observer. Um, in fact, look at this. Look at this. KR skipping robo completely. Uh, I mean, sorry, not skipping robo, skipping observatory completely. So uh, Varius' observer is going to get a uh, perfect scout on everything that's going on. Going to see this shuttle coming up. Uh, I don't know if, he's, if he knows about this reaver inside. He probably suspects it, though. Now this is actually going to be a bit scary for Varius because he does not have a reaver of his own. He's just going to have to rely on an overwhelming number of Dragoons, which he will be able to have since he does have four gateways and, of course, two bases pumping. So I think uh, this might be the final attack for KR. KR going to have to... Yeah, it's actually certainly going to be the final attack. He's not expanding or anything. Going to have to do perfect reaver, Michael, for the shuttle. The shuttle goes down the reaver. The reaver goes down. Oh, my goodness. Did not do enough damage with that reaver. KR getting pushed back now. Oh, too many Dragoons now for, for Varius. I think this is over. There's even a probe with a gas box coming up here. Um, wow, KR not handling that correctly at all. I mean, he was basically all in with that reaver, and now it's dead. So, uh, so yeah, it's, it's pretty much done. Pretty much... Pretty much done. The second Reaver is out. Is it going to get a shot off? It does get one shot off and it gets taken down immediately. Two Observer is going to come join the party. KR. KR having a lower Dragoon count. I think KR is quite surprised about this because Varius, of course, was the underdog. It looks like Varius is going to take down KR and move on to the round of 32. A bit of a surprising result, I think, for everybody. Indeed, he is. More Dragoons. Pouring in, KR is in a lot of trouble, he has another Reaver out, he doesn't have any Scarabs though, it's running home to try and make more Scarabs. Um, if that pylon goes down, I believe the left gateway will be unpowered, the Reaver is coming in here, it's going to get a huge Reaver shot off, but I think it will get taken down, a nice little spread by Varius, the Reaver will get another shot off, it does, but it does get taken down, GG! Varius advances 2-0 into the round of 32, KR will move on to play in the final match of this group.